Hello there. Today I'm going to take a look at this um, Samsung portable hard drive. Um, it's quite a popular one and it's been advertised quite a lot. Um, this is a Samsung M3 1TB portable hard drive. Now it comes along with the lead here and it's got quite a funny connector. I don't know if it's got a name or not. And uh, it just fits into there. The other end is plain USB 3 and that goes to the PC. Now this one has actually gone faulty. Now it went faulty under warranty so I could have sent it back for a refund or replacement but the thing is I've um, got so much stuff on here I wanted to try and recover it so I'm gonna have a go at opening up the case and removing a hard drive and the intention is to place it into one of these Port, empty cases port for a portable hard drive and this comes with a USB cable and it plugs into the PC so I'll show you how to open this, this up first if you get a screwdriver or a thin knife or something like that something thin that fits into the uh, the uh, join and just gently prise it up There it is. And just work your way along. Just push the side of the case away from the top lid. And it should be fairly easy. You don't need to be too forceful in case you damage it and ruin it completely. Coming away quite nicely. That's it now. That's the top off. And inside you can see the hard drive takes up most of the space. Now it's it's got the Samsung name here. It says Samsung, but up here it says Seagate. Oh also here as well. Seagate an address. The Netherlands. Now and on the other side as well, I notice it says made in China. Now, Samsung is a South Korean company. They're not from the Netherlands or China or Japan. So they're, they're South Korean. Um, I was across there a few years ago to Seoul. And it's a lovely place. Lovely people as well. Um... To me, that's not really a Samsung product. It's just something that's been assembled in China with a Samsung name on. So my intention is to take the hard drive out and place it into the other case and see if it works. Because there's electronics in here as well, you see. It's the interface between the hard drive and the PC. So they could be faulty. Then maybe that's why it's work not working. And the hard drive itself could be okay. So it should be a fairly simple job, I think, to get this out. And ah, this funny socket at the top here is part of the whole thing. The whole board is one. It's been made that. For this unit so my idea of uh, swapping the hard drive is not going to work um, so it looks like I've lost my data there unless I can get another hard drive the same swap the boards and see if it works then so I get my data off I don't think I'd buy that again I think in future I would buy these um, external cases comes this bit here you see this is the interface part that fits on to uh, this is the standard connection you see not like the uh, the Samsung this bit here would fit in there and then the whole thing slides into the case I think I'll do that in future if I need a portable hard drive I'll buy an empty case 
and then I can choose the hard drive I want and uh, make it up like that. Um, to be fair to Samsung though, probably all these uh, makers have the things made abroad, made out outside their own country. So I've had that for just now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.